Mercedes-Benz has given its B-Class a facelift. The compact van called Sports Tour has been on the market for three years. Over 350,000 units have been sold worldwide, making it one of the most successful vehicles in this segment. But now Mercedes-Benz hopes to attract even more buyers. He says there are two target groups for the B-Class. The first is young families with one or two children who, of course, appreciate the flexibility and safety features of the vehicle. Secondly, he says there are so-called empty nesters, families with grown children that no longer live with their parents but who often have the grandchildren visiting. They like the integrated child seats and the safety features. He says they want a very compact vehicle that is also flexible. Following the facelift, the three chrome slats of the grille now dominate the front end. The door handles match the color of the van and go well with the lines on the sides. The tail lights draw attention to the large tailgate. Our test car is powered by a two-liter diesel engine. Just like the other engines, this one has been revamped and optimized to reduce fuel consumption. A newly developed park assist system is available as an option. It's equipped with sensors that use radar to find parking spots at speeds of up to 30 kilometers per hour. Jürgen Buhmann says the sensors work continuously up to 30 kilometers per hour. He says that once the arrow appears next to the parking symbol, the driver can put the car into reverse. After confirming he wants to park the car, he only has to step on the gas and brake pedals. The vehicle takes over the steering duties. This in the Parktronic. He says the driver waits for the Parktronic to receive a signal regarding the distance to the vehicle behind it. Then he puts the car in drive, moves forward until the signal is emitted, and then puts the car into reverse and so on until the procedure is finished. In addition to four gasoline and two diesel engines in the B-Class, Mercedes also offers a model that runs on either natural gas or gasoline. Until now, it was only available in the Mercedes E-Class model. He says the car maker introduced natural gas-powered vehicles primarily for companies with vehicle fleets and taxi enterprises, but it's also very attractive for individuals. By simply pressing a button, drivers of the B170 NGT model can choose to run on natural gas or premium gasoline. They can cut costs by up to 50% by choosing natural gas. The natural gas version costs around 3,700 euros more than the gasoline-powered vehicle. In Germany, the B-Class is available for just under 29,000 euros and is slated for delivery beginning in September. Porsche has unveiled the latest generation 911 Carrera. Its exterior remains true to its classic shape. The biggest changes can be found under the hood. The completely new engines have been fitted with direct fuel injection. A double clutch transmission with seven gears is available. It makes shifting easy without any interruption. In Germany, the new 911 Carrera is available for as little as 81,100 euros. On June 21st, BMW opened the doors of its new museum in Munich. The exhibition space is five times as large as the car maker's previous museum. It houses some 120 original items illustrating 90 years of automobile production. BMW invested 80 million euros in the new museum and it's expected to attract some 400,000 visitors a year.
value of a 5 door subcompact can be tested best when we pack them full. Whatever fits in the shopping cart should also fit into the luggage compartment after the back seat is folded down. They're all practical. It's not necessary to remove any of the headrests. Holding down the seats and loading them up is child's play. All four cars are around four meters long. The Peugeot is the longest, and the Yaris is shortest. But the latter can handle the largest cargo load, 1,180 liters. The Opel Corsa offers the second largest cargo capacity at 1,100 liters. The Renault Clio accommodates 1,023 liters, and the Peugeot brings up the rear with just 920 liters of luggage room. As always, looks are a matter of taste. But perhaps the Yaris does take a little getting used to. It was designed for Europe, and just like its predecessor, it's produced in France. The interiors of our four contestants are also very practical. The Yaris's interior reminds one of a spaceship in a German television series. Just like its rivals, it offers plenty of storage space and pockets. The interior of the new Opel Corsa seems to boast the best quality. It's a huge leap forward from its predecessor. The French models are well equipped. Both the Clio and Peugeot are arranged in a user-friendly manner. But which of the four rivals is the best on the road? How about engine performance, fuel consumption, handling, and driving pressure? All have four-cylinder gasoline engines. possesses a 1.6-liter 16-valve engine, which generates 88 horsepower. The suspension isn't too stiff, and the steering is precise, yet not overpowering. The second Frenchman, the Peugeot, is similar, but it has a smaller 1.4-liter power plant, which also produces 88 horsepower. The suspension of the 207 is fairly soft. has a 1.4-liter twin-port Ecotec engine, which packs 90 horses. The German subcompact offers excellent handling. The steering is precise, and the suspension is rather stiff. Meanwhile, the Yaris possesses a 1.3-liter motor with 87 horsepower. The car with a Japanese design is made in Europe. It's ideal for city driving, yet sporty and nimble. Impression. It's time to pick a winner. That's tough. There's no real loser. Overall, we thought the Renault Clio and the Peugeot can share third place, but the Opel Corsa a strong runner-up. Gold goes to the Toyota Yaris. In Germany, the Corsa is the most expensive at 15,800 euros, followed by the Yaris at 15,200 euros. The two French models sell for around 13 and a half thousand.